Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I will be talking about optical center, principal focus, and focal length in reference of spherical lenses. So we have our topic: your optical center, principal focus, and focal length for your spherical lenses let us see about optical center first we have two lenses one is your convex lens and another one is your concave lens convex lens and concave lens both are having optical center this center point of lens here this central point of lens is called the optical center if a ray of light passes through optical center without any deviation it directly passes through it so no deviation will take place so like this ray is passing through the optical center without any deviation it directly passes through it no refraction will take place no reflection of light ray will take place or will happen now let us uh, comes to the next part of the topic that is we talk about principal focus and focal length let's take the case of your first convex lens so we have a convex lens that is having two convex surfaces this will be your optical center optical center we find it it is denoted by c rays of light which are parallel to each other when these rays of lights getting incident on the convex surface that is your left part and that is your right part getting incident on the convex surface of a convex lens they get refracted so these parallel rays of light which are parallel to two principal axis getting incident on convex surface on the from the left side get refracted that is bending of light rays will take place and these bending of light rays will take place in such a way that these rays after reflection will meet at a point and that point will be called as your principal focus this point will be your principal focus here in case of convex lens the principal focus will be your real focus because in actual condition these parallel rays these parallel rays are meeting at a point that point we call as principal focus 
So it is a point on the so focus is what it is a point on the principal axis where the parallel beam of light rays after refraction converge after refraction converge and meet at f so that's why this focus is a real focus and we find that when the light rays are from falling on the middle not in the middle it is in the less from the left and the uh, pencil focusing will be on the right similarly when the light rays are falling on the right then the pencil focus will be on the left so it will be called as f dash so we have for a lens two focus will be there we call as foci and one is f and one is f dash so it is all about principal focus now the next point is that what about the focal length of convex lens so here the distance between uh, principal focus and optical center will be your focal length so it is a distance between optical center and principal focus we call as focal length of convex lens now the next one is your principal focus and focal length in case of concave lens so for that uh, we will see that we have to draw a concave lens for it a principal axis then a concave lens here this will be the optical center that is c uh, x x dash will be principal axis let us consider a ray of light which is passing through the optical center so it will pass directly without any deviation without any reflection now there are number of light rays which are parallel to the principal axis these are the light rays which are parallel to the light rays which are parallel to the principal axis now here also these light rays will get refracted get bent in what way they get bent in such a way that they get to show the divergence they will show the divergence they will show the divergence and here also two focus exists these light rays are from the left side and in the right side also a focus is there and in the left side also focus is there so this time if i extend these light rays after reflection which is there so it is meeting at a point imaginarily at a point that is we call as principal focus for concave convex cave lens so this is your principal focus for concave lens so these light rays light rays are imaginarily uh, meeting at a point this point is called principal focus so if we extend the light rays uh, which are after after reflection towards the same towards the towards the same uh, side we find that these rays appear to meet appear to meet at a point on principal axis and that point is called as principal focus for concave lens similarly if uh, the light rays the parallel light rays are from the right side and it is towards the uh, lens then at that time 
these rays will get diverged at a point, that point will be your tension focus and that will be on the same side. So here we find that these rays are appear to uh, appear to diverge from the appear to diverge from the principal focus. So these rays are appear to diverge. We feel that these rays, these rays are appear to diverge from the principal focus. And here this uh, principal focus for case of concave lens will be your virtual focus. In actual, it does not exist. So here we find that these light rays, in case of concave lens, these light rays are getting diverged. So we also call that concave lens will be your diverging lens. And what about the focal length? Focal length is the distance between optical center and principal focus. That will be the focal length of concave lens. So this is how uh, we have dealt with the optical center, principal focus and focal length of spherical lenses.